Good morning, guys. Hope you guys had a good uh, Friday night. And the week has been going well. This is such a beautiful, the air feels so fresh. You know what I think it is also? Is the fact that, you know, Sebastian and I, we did a run earlier today. You know, you get up at 4.30, you run at five in the morning, you sweat, you know, you get your body through that terrible period of time. And then you take a shower and then you get to experience this period of time. It just feels so refreshing. It's so nice. <laughs> oh, real! the same song. Yep, Sebastian caught some pretty nice shots. And we're here with Rio, and now the man's gonna take the bike out for a spin. Yeah, I know, it whines. It's actually, it's a mating call. It's how I get a, attention. I scared Mona the girl ear, but I'd be in her ear like. <laughs> so we have a bit of a dilemma. It is currently, it is currently 1.25 in the afternoon and we have not cut one piece of wood. Okay, I thought we would have been a lot more productive by now, but no, we have to go to Home Depot and we have to go to our storage unit and pick up some materials. And now we have everything here waiting for my dad to finish something and then we're gonna get cutting and I'm looking at the plans and everything. I gotta, I gotta see what is gonna be the right step to, to, to take and make sure everything is done accordingly. Regardless of the time, we're gonna try to get it done this weekend. So today and tomorrow, this is probably gonna be a two part video explaining how we build this Murphy bed. So, without further ado, let's get the building of the Murphy bed done. Disclaimer, I've never done this before. Now that I have got the length of the frame cut, which is 66 and uh, 3 8 I'm going to be using leftover cuts to cut a 15 and 3 uh, 3 4 for the width. And the reason why it's 3 4 is because it, a quarter of that is the uh, baseboard around, so I wanted it to be against the wall. It'll make more sense once it's done. Progressing slowly, we just putting in uh, that machine down there. Cut the plywood, you know, we slide it through. We cut one piece of plywood into four pieces. Now we have uh, three more pieces of plywood to cut into, I don't know, a couple other dozens of pieces. We are just getting all everything situated so that potentially either later today or tomorrow we will start building it, I guess. Tell you right now that I think we just went through the hardest part of this build, which was the cutting. The amount of dust in this garage was making me sneeze at a running nose the whole time. It was terrible. Unfortunately, we can't move forward with the actual building of the Murphy bed. You want to see the Kuni? Because we're waiting for this one part that they didn't have at the at Home Depot, and we didn't get at the actual lumber yard. So Amazon is bringing it over. So that part's gonna be have to be left for tomorrow, which is just the edge you put around the edge of the, um, the plywood so everything looks coherent and flows. So what we're actually gonna do is build a frame uh, that goes underneath the mattress. I come out and feed the, the little kids over here. I'm happy, it's called progress. Yesterday I had nothing, today I have a bunch of wood pieces that have been cut and a partial frame of a bed built. I mean, little by little, right? That's, that's how it's done. So we're gonna wind down now. It is past seven, it's probably like 7.30 now. We're gonna give these girls some water and make sure they're hydrated over the night. Tomorrow's a new day. Catch you guys tomorrow.